This week was different from most weeks. Mani shana hashavua hazeh mikol hashavuot. What made this week different from all other weeks? On all other weeks, I read the newspaper, follow the news in Israel, try to stay up to date as best as I can without going overboard so that I can remain focused on being present right here at home. This week, with thousands of rockets directed at Israel, where two of my daughters happened to be, staying focused and being present was a bit more challenging. This week was different because on a community call yesterday, we heard from two of our former emissaries, Eyal and Gaia. Normally, these young, bright, passionate young Israelis are full of optimism and hope. But this week, they were heartbroken and down, and they were not optimistic for at least the immediate future. While not surprising to me, this was still difficult to watch and to hear. This week was different because on all other weeks, we know where my daughter, Maital, who serves in the IDF, is located. She is on her base in the middle of the desert, Bamidbar, the name of this week's Torah portion. On a week like this, when rockets are coming down, the middle of the desert is the place to be. For the most part, in the middle of nowhere, safe from those types of attacks. But this week, we were awaiting word that Maytal may be moved to the Gaza border, where she would be administering emergency certifications for the use of certain kinds of weapons. I found myself praying that she would remain in the boring Midbar. This week was different from all other weeks. Every other Friday afternoon, I offer my daughters a prayer, the priestly blessing, which we direct to all of the children in our community as we begin Shabbat. But this week, the prayer was different. The words were the same, but the prayer was just different. May God bless you and protect you and keep you safe. May God's light shine and smile upon you. May God look favorably upon you and grant you peace. Each week we say Shabbat Shalom. This week I say Shabbat Shalom. May it be a Shabbat of peace.